I'm pretty sure we've all been there where our section numbers have just hit a really low number, whether that's single numbers or even in the teens. And we think we need to do something to boost up our section numbers. There's no one on the waiting list. Strange. And we think, you know what? Let's do a bring a friend to Scouts Night or Beavis Cubs Squirrels Night. How do we make it fun and engaging for those newcomers? Because we don't just want to do a boring, not bored night or something where it's a sit down night and those newcomers walk in the building and think, nah, it's a bit boring, then I'm going to go join the whatever youth club. So how can we make that bring a friend to scout night fun and engaging? Well, here's some ideas just for you. My top advice for bring a friend to scouts night. This can be a squirrels, beavers, cubs, scouts, explorers night. But I'm just saying scouts because it's easier as I'm a scout leader. Is ask the young people what they find fun. If they had to sell scouts to someone on the streets. Because that's what we're doing to bring a friend to night scouts. What activities do you think is fun? Okay, they're probably going to say dodgeball, guaranteed, if they're like my scouts. But they're the young people, and it's a youth-led movement, and we're doing U-shape. So maybe ask the young people for their tips on what activities they think is fun. So on the night, okay, make sure there's a leader on the door greeting those young new starters with their first name. Try and remember their first names. It's nice being mentioned, isn't it? Rather than just, oh, hello. If you say, hello, Mark. It's really good to see you tonight. I hope you have a great night at Scouts. So try and remember those new names. Greet the parents. Get someone, leader, just to give a brief explanation on how you run your section and costs and camps coming up and where to get uniform and things like that. Uh, you can do it at the beginning or even do it at the end. And at the end of the night, get the, another leader to say, you know, hey, Mark, hope you enjoyed Scouts tonight. See you next week. Any questions, get your mom or dad to drop me an email. And uh, yeah, see you next week. So just get that engagement right at the beginning. My tips on how to make it a fun night, it's got to be a doing night, yeah? It's got to be a fun, fast, active night. It can't be a sit down at the table or sit down and watch a PowerPoint, death by PowerPoint, or learn the history of scouting or something that's not engaging. We've got to sell scouts to that new person, yeah? So you've got to make it fun, interactive, maybe have that kind of four base station where you move around the evening 15 minutes at a table or 10 minutes at a table and move on to do something else. Got to make it a doing night. When I've done these nights in the past, cooking and a campfire just sells it. So whether we're doing a fire lighting night, we can do Kelly Kettle Challenge or My Fire Limbo Night or something. Learning those practical skills on how to get a fire going, have a campfire, and then maybe do a, a sizzle sausage evening where we're cooking those sausages over the campfire. S'mores, that kind of thing. Talking about food, that always sells. Scouts are always hungry, no matter what time of the day it is, isn't it? If you get food, you're guaranteed to, to sell them. So maybe have a hamburger night. They've got to design their ultimate fantasy burger, and then we'll cook it. Maybe a pizza night where they make the dough, make the pizza from scratch, and then they cook it in the tinfoil pizza oven. So they that's like whole, you're making the whole circle. So you're making the pizza, you're cooking it, and then you're eating it. Love it. What can go wrong? S'mores always goes down well. We've got maybe armpit fudge. <laughs> and then send them on a high. We've got bum sandwich. Those scout classics. The Lego challenge night. We do this on our normal scout night. I know how much fun my scouts have. So do it on a bring a friend to scout night. Challenge can be, you know, you have a big pot in the middle and they've got to build a bridge between this distance and it's got to hold a weight of a toy car or something. Or... Uh, tower challenge. Another fun one that we've done in the past is stop motion animation where the scouts have got to make a, say, a two minute video about the promotion of scouts, what they enjoy doing as scouts. So, you know, they're having a bit of fun. They're playing with Lego. Everyone loves Lego. They're making a movie at the end and they're learning about stop motion animation. There's a load of apps that you can do as well. So that's a real fun one as well. Everyone loves Lego. Mini pioneering. Okay, so we're learning a bit of tradition about scouting and those knots and stuff. And if you're in beavers or cubs, you don't have to use knots. You can use elastic bands and stuff. Make a mini pioneering night. You know, you can make catapults, make a target at the end of the scout hall, pew, fire it through. My scouts love doing that. You know, you've got chariot racing. So making some pioneering, make it fun. And that's the thing about scouts, isn't it? We're learning something. We're learning those knots, but we'll make it into a challenge and make it fun. Taskmaster challenges. Minute to win it. 
Um, what's the Stephen Mulhern on ITV? You know, um, in for a penny, in for a pound. You know, those kind of really fun, quick, active, interactive games. They always go down a treat. They're my ideas on a bring a friend to scout night. I've done most of those in the past and they've worked well. We've got our numbers up. We haven't actually needed to do a bring a friend to scout night at the moment because our numbers are are rather healthy and they're feeding from our beavers and cubs pack and the district waiting list so that's quite good um, that we haven't had to do one of these nights but my tip my biggest tip of all all the night is the activities that you're doing you've got to make sure that the new scouters know that not to expect this every single week if we don't tell them they're going to expect and they're going to get the wrong impression of your scout troop that every week you're going to be doing these amazing, fun, interactive, run-around tasks every single week. Where some weeks we have to actually generally sit down and listen. Maybe we've got a speaker coming in. Or we're learning about knots and we're making a knot board. Or we're just doing a bit of repetitive, boring not that fun tasks that need to be done. So maybe, you know, we're going camping and we've got to make sure the kettle and the Dutch ovens are clean and the, and stock is done. And, you know, there are things as scouts we need to do prepping for camp that isn't that fun. But it's got to be done. Yeah. And if we're giving the wrong impression to those new scouts, they're going to expect a fun week every single week, which we should be doing. As we know, but some weeks, as I said, just aren't as fun or doing. Do you know what I mean? So just make sure that those new starters won't expect every single week will be, a, you know, this all singing, all dancing night. Yes, scouts should be fun. It should be interactive. But we know that there's those weeks that aren't always that fun. There we are, scout leaders. My ideas on how you can bring a friend to night scout program, you know, make it fun. As I say, make it a doing night. Make it interactive, fast paced. And I'm sure... You'll do a great job and you'll get those scouts coming back week after week after week. Scout leaders, you're doing an amazing job. Keep it up and I'll see you next time here on Big Man Woods. And if you're looking for some games ideas, watch this one here. I'll see you next time here on Big Man in the Woods.